I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe P for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined by Tommy Fletcher here at the O2, where your next fight's going to be. How's that feel? Yeah, it's awesome, mate. Um, I'm buzzing for it, you know. Can't wait. So here today at the press conference and uh, let them have it, tell them how it is, and then that's that, you know. Keep back, get ready, back training, and ready for my fight. Yeah, so in the space of kind of five, six months, you've gone from Wembley Arena, the Manchester Arena, and now the O2. You're ticking off all the big arenas when it comes to British boxing here, aren't you, Tommy? Yeah, I think it was like five months ago. I didn't even have my debut, so uh, now I'm flying, and I'm definitely flying. I box at box at Wembley on my debut. I sold the most tickets on there, so uh, Manchester is a bit harder because it's a lot further away in it. But and then at the O2 again now, I want to sell loads. So, I mean, I'm, uh, I'll definitely promote it as best as I can sell as many tickets as I can and uh, get another vicious knockout and then we keep stepping up, keep letting them all have it, you know. <laughs> keep letting them have it, that, that's certainly what Tommy Fletcher does, we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, so you haven't really fought in London since July now, so do you think that's going to be a good opportunity for you and your fans to kind of maximise the ticket sales? Definitely, yeah, obviously like Manchester was at uh, Joyce Park, it was a massive show, but like it was, um, it was hard for people to get up there. When you start adding ticket prices on top of um, tanks of petrol and that it gets pricey for people but in London uh, it's still a fair way away from me you know London obviously I live in Norfolk so it's still an away day if you think about it but yeah definitely I'll, be, I'll do a lot of tickets in London and it will be good for everyone to be back out watching me since July and that so uh, I think it'll be good for my profile and my boxing career it'll be great it'll be great yeah so Two Joe Joyce undercards and now Ryder Parker, another massive fight this time. A big domestic dust-up which could take the winner onto World Honours with that WBO interim title at stake. What do you make of that fight? Because it's a fantastic fight for everyone really, isn't it? I think it's a great 50-50 fight, you know, but like I've, I've thought about it. I can't really call the winner, you know. Like obviously, um, Ryder, he's had a lot, a lot of experience and he's uh, had a good few wins, but obviously he's been beaten at before. But you can't ever knock anyone that's been beat. Still, like they're still going to be. Uh, he's still very experienced. But Zach Parker's younger. He's hungrier. I think he's got. I'm pretty sure is he taller than him. Bit bit thicker set than him. Like, see, uh, Ryder's a bit of a smaller smaller for the weight, and uh, Zach's much bigger. But I think uh, I'll beat them both on the same night. You know, I think I'll be I'll beat them both. But nah, they're a lot lighter than me. But yeah, I can't call it to be honest. I think it'll be a good fight. But. I uh, I respect John Ryder a lot, you know. I think he's a good fighter, but I've not met Zach Parker. But I think it'll be a good fight, regardless. It'll be a good fight. Yeah, you'll meet him today anyway. So Zach Parker kind of reminds me yourself a bit, like super middleweight, tall, long, rangy, and has that power. So, kind of with those same assets, do you think it could be a case of just trying to knock out John Ryder, who is the small super middleweight? He's campaigned at middleweight before. We know. Yeah, I think. Uh, I, can, I see the fight panning out is uh, Ryder coming out. He'll be coming forward, you know, moving his head and that, trying to get to Parker. But I feel like at some point in the fight, they'll both stand there and have it. And obviously, if um, Zach Parker, if he's strong, then uh, I ain't really watched too much of him, so I can't really comment on it. I don't know how strong he is. But if he hits um, Ryder on the chin, then he might go. You don't know. But I don't know how the fight will pan out, to be honest. But... I think they're both good fighters, though. They are great fighters. It's a good card to box on, you know, definitely. Let's go back to yourself then. Another highlight reel knockout. It's just uh, pushing forward. And how important is it for you just to not get those wins on the building blocks where, as you're fighting more regularly, but to look good doing it and get those highlight reel knockouts? Yeah, I think when you're a young prospect, you got to, um, you can be under a bit of pressure to perform. Like Obviously, if you do it in the gym and that, that don't mean nothing. You've got to do it under the lights and in front of the cameras, in front of the people. But, um, yeah, no, I'm, gonna, I'm going out there. I'm aiming to get another vicious knockout. I want someone face down on the canvas. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I do. I want to knock them all out. But I know there'll be points where success don't always go my way in, in the ring and I'll have to uh, get behind the jab. And if I hit them... I might ne not necessarily always hurt him, so I'll be prepared to box the rounds that I'm there to do and uh, 
yeah, regardless, I'll, I'll be wanting to perform and look slick. You know, I don't want to just be known as some person that wants to be a one-trick pony and just knock everyone out. Like that's not the case. I can box. You know, I can get behind the jab. I can look good doing it. If Mark tells me in the corner, go out and um, just get behind a jab and look slick for a round, I can do that. I'm not just going to go out there guns blazing and trying to throw bombs. You know, so I don't want this to be known as a one-trick pony. Everyone knows kind of Frank Warren's reputation for building and growing prospects, choosing the right fights at the right time, and he's got a lot of prospects in his stable right now. How important is it for you to kind of stand out among the rest so you've got full promotion and you're kind of in Frank's view at all times? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, as a young prospect, and he's got a lot of young prospects, but he's also great at building them, but you don't want to get lost in someone's stable, you know. But uh, I see, I'm, like you said, I box at Wembley... Uh, Manchester Arena and now the O2 like they they're looking after me well and I I respect that and um, Frank will be loyal to me and I'll be loyal to him so I think um, I'm only 20 years old so I ain't got to take no silly fights or call anyone out to like go silly. Do you know what I mean I know I know how it is. I'm gonna um, just build you know just build each fight and um, try gain my profile and that and then maybe in a couple of years I'll I'll have a good 50-50 like a proper dust up so but as of now I'm going to be taking the right fights at the right time but if a fight got presented to me that was a 50-50 and um it was for a good amount of money good profile I'd take it I mean I would never back down from a fight from anyone but obviously it's down to my management S Jam Adam and Shane and that I let them deal with all them side of things and I uh, I have full trust in them as well so that's what that's how I see things of it really Last one then, stablemates John Hedges, John Fisher out this week at Wembley Arena on the Katie Taylor undercard. Just a word on them, how they've been in the gym and uh, surely they get the job done again on Saturday night? Definitely, I think they'll both get um, two wins and hopefully two stoppages and they've been on fire in the gym, you know. They never um, they never miss a session, they're very dedicated athletes. Like Even outside of the gym, I must say they are very dedicated um Athletes, and that's what that can what can make the difference in boxing, you know. So, but yeah, they've been performing very well, sparring well. There's good sparring in the gym at the minute, so they got no reason not to perform on Saturday night. I'm sure they, I'm sure they will. Excellent, Tommy. Thanks very much for speaking to IFL today. I'm sure I'll catch up with you a couple more times before the 26th of November uh, in the gym or whatever. And uh, best of luck. See you soon. Cheers, mate. Thank you so much. Cheers, mate. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.